right, let's talk about baseball signs today, specifically signs from the catcher to the pitcher and from the coach to the catcher if your coach is calling signs for you. Uh, first thing you got to know with taking signs from the catcher or if you're a catcher giving signs, you want to make sure that your knees are nice and tight in here. If you're nice and wide open, a lot of times that first base coach or that third base coach can see in if he's close enough to that foul line the signs that you're given. So you don't want that. So whenever you're given signs, you know, when you get set up, you can be regular. But as you give that signs, you want to do a couple things. First, you want to keep these knees in nice and close right here and keep this hand nice and close to your body right here, right? You don't want to be out away from it because then you, that coach or those coaches can see those signs again. So you want to be nice and close to the body, knees in a little bit, and then glove. If you're, if you're doing a good job here, you don't really have to worry about the glove so much, but some guys like to take this glove and put fill the space in between their, their left uh, foot and knee um, just to block up some more space. So that's another good way, good thing you could do. Um, but other than that, when you're giving the signs too, you also want to take a peek at the hitter's eyes as you're giving the sign. So make sure your, your uh, pitcher is looking. All right, so you're here, you're set up. You take the sign from your coach. Got it. Make sure your pitcher's looking, okay? Get set up, tuck it in, check the batter's eyes, give your signs, okay? Make sure you give clear and concise signs to the pitcher. Now, let's talk about the different signs you can give to the pitcher. If there's nobody on and you just got a guy up to bat, the most common signs are one is a fastball, two is usually a breaking ball, um, three and four are if that pitcher has something else and usually a wiggle uh, is a change up so most of the time you got a, a one for a fastball two for a breaking ball and a change up most guys are throwing those are probably the most common pitches that guys are throwing and then guys can fill in the blanks there if you got a maybe a, uh, like me I was a fastball uh, I was a sinker slider forkball guy so I went one for my sinker two for my slider and wiggle for my fork ball. So pretty similar. Um, and you can do different things as long as the pitcher and the catcher are on the same page, meaning they know. The pitcher knows what the catcher is calling a one, two, three, four, and five, and vice versa. And every pitcher can be different as long as the catcher knows. Um, so those are your basic signs. Now, let's say you got a man on second base. You've got to do something to mix up the signs because you don't want to just, if you got a guy on second, straight there and you just give this he can see those signs so if he's given signs you know the guy on second can, can give the signs to the batter by either putting his hands on his knees or one hand down you know usually usually when you got both hands on the legs it's a fastball one hand down it's something off speed so you know guys can pick up signs that way so if you got a runner on second base what you can do is pumps or outs plus one all right, so let's talk about a runner on second, and we're going to talk about pumps and outs plus one. For pumps, all you're going to do is you're going to count the number of pumps after the first number. So if the catcher puts down a three, you're going to count three pumps from there, and that's going to be your pitch. So, so say the catcher puts down three, one, two, one, that's the third one, and then he's going to keep going, right? Because you don't want that batter to know that that's the pitch, okay? So let's do it again for pumps. Let's do uh, two, one, one, two, two, two. So that would be a number one, fastball. Getting it? All right. All right, the other way to do it with man on second would be outs plus one. So whatever the outs are, however many outs there are, let's say there's one out, you're gonna do outs plus one. So it'll be second sign, because there's one out plus one will be second sign, okay? So we got outs plus one. We just give them, boom, 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 boom. That would be two. It's the second sign, outs plus one. Now when there's two outs, it's going to be two plus one, so a third sign. So it's going to change up when there's outs, right? If there's no outs, it's the first sign, right? So whatever you throw down first, first sign. Always give more. If you're the catcher, don't just give, you know, if it's outs plus one um, and you got a man on second, don't just give the first sign because that's all it is keep giving signs so boom 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 let the guy on second try to figure it out as he goes all right so there's another one I forgot to mention that I used all the time 
and it's the catcher can actually use his glove as the signs and these can be just deke signs so what i used to do as a three pitch pitcher would be fastball would be the catcher's glove right on top breaking ball would be down here and then uh, other off speed which for me was a fork ball would be right here so all this was deke signs and this was the actual sign and then he would give location last or first uh, but this was the actual sign and that's great also when you have uh, vision problems you know when you're playing at night or in, in a place that it's hard to see the signs. You could also do touches uh, when you got men on base or if the pitcher's having a hard time seeing the signs. Like sometimes you'll get into a game, uh, a night game when the lights are positioned in a weird spot. Sometimes the pitcher has a hard time seeing, so you could do touches to give signs. I'm not gonna get into that because you can make your, your own kind of scheme or pattern up for that, but oh, it, you know, remember that as an option that you could do this. You could also do touches with signs mixed in. All right, so just remember that. Now let's talk about signs from the coach going into the catcher, because a lot of coaches like to call the pitches uh, for their pitchers, but they relay the signs to their catcher. So imagine I'm sitting at the edge of the dugout right here, and my catcher is over there. A lot of coaches do face signs right here, right? Um, and one of the great ways to do the face signs. We did this in college and I thought it was great. Usually you're gonna have a charter next to the coach. So the charter is actually the sign giver and the coach is just deking. These are fake signs right here. All this is fake, right? The guy who's at the chart is giving the signs. Whether his head is down is a fastball. If he's looking left, could be a breaking ball, right? change up or straight ahead actually I think straight ahead was fastball and down was uh, breaking ball and then change up or whatever third pitch they had was to one side or the other and then the location was given by the charters hand so he would be here or actually the coach's hand excuse me so the coach was given a sign but it was here so he's given these fake signs right here just doing all kinds of crazy stuff on his face but this is the actual location sign so down the middle uh, this side of the plate or that side of the plate. So he'd just be here, boom, 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 boom. Fake, charter's given the pitch sign, and then the, the coach is given the location sign. So that's a, that's a great one to, uh, you know, not get your signs picked very often. Uh, pretty easy for the catcher as well, because all he's doing is looking at the charter's head and the, uh, the coach's hand. And the coach would just tell the charter, you know, he's sitting right there, right next to him. So he would just whisper, Real quick, you know, hey, fastball. And then to give the fake signs. So. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and then join the free newsletter at yougoprobaseball.com.